Hello everyone, welcome back to the Only Shade Drops channel. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty well. We're starting to get wound up on the new Eurovision season. As you saw, uh, we started doing some videos. Um, I talked about the Dutch case of possible withdrawal and stuff. And I want to dive a little bit deeper in the problems the EBU have. So we're doing this video by video and by ways to fix it. And uh, today's video will be about the participation of a certain country, you saw in the title of the video, the Israeli participation. Uh, we all know what happened last Eurovision, so um, I'm gonna give some arguments to why I think they should or should not be able to participate in this Eurovision Song Contest. Um, so yeah, let's just kick this off with, uh, well, let's address the elephant in the room. We banned Russia a few years ago. Um, okay, uh, don't come already to tell me we, bought, we banned because of some stuff broadcaster did and stuff. We all know why they banned Russia. It's because of the invasion of Ukraine. And that they should have been banned and they got banned and that was a perfect decision. Now we are currently witnessing a genocide in Palestine. I won't go any deeper in that, but I just tell you I use the word genocide because that's what the Israeli regime and government is doing there. And already with that, I think that should be enough to just ban Israel from participating in the Eurovision Song Contest. Now I'm all I'm not gonna get into geopolitical stuff and shit, but that's just one point I want to make. Then we're gonna talk about what happened in last Eurovision uh, with a song submission. Um, Israel had broken a few rules with entering a political song that got refused. They got a ch second chance. They got their song uh, rejected three times, if I remember correctly. And they still got allowed to send a fourth one, which got sent to your vision. That already was kind of dodgy. I mean, with what was happening in, uh, in Palestine, and then you add this, you're already like, okay, VBU, what the hell are you doing? Like, things were not going on well. And then we arrive in Malmo, and you know, last year Vision was a fucking shitstorm. It was uh, just fucking drama all over the place. So, what happened was the Israeli delegation allegedly harassed some participants, some mem members of other delegations. There have been reclamations about that. I think you can all remember all the cases pretty incorrectly. Um, nothing was done. Well, we've had Jules Klein getting disqualified. And, well, they, we saw that the Swedish police just... Jules Klein was innocent. So they didn't come, keep on going with the case. So we already know... We did a video about Jules Klein in the Netherlands, so we're not going to fully go into that. But already, you're banning someone, and then you just allow another delegation that's doing dodgy stuff to stay in the contest. Also, I think you can all remember about what Khan did during um, the Ir Irish song, just before Bambi participated, uh, not participated, uh, sang just before they got on stage and like they announced Ireland and stuff. They like prepare the rocks and the insults, something like that. Like just saying that on, on TV as a broadcaster, let's insult the next participant. That's just unacceptable. And <laughs> The fact they used the contest to help their political agenda is just, it's unbelievable. It's fucking unbelievable. I'm, I'm sorry for the swearing, but I don't see why they're still not 
banned like and they just confirmed that they're going to take part in next year vision also little news about the channel uh we're not gonna cover anything i'm not gonna cover anything about the israeli uh song delegation anything uh only thing i'm gonna do is when may arrives in the prediction say if i think they'll qualify or not but there won't be any videos about the israeli song um so this they just there's the conflict in gaza you see how many people are dying every day there's them breaking so many rules of eurovision and just jeopardizing the, the content i mean if we didn't have the juries last year israel would have probably <laughs> would have been very close to the win right? because people black voted and stuff but Israel was really close to win last year they were really close to win and not last year since we were since 2024 but you get what I'm saying they were close to win and them winning would probably mean the end of Eurovision because a lot of delegations would have gotten out of this and just Eurovision would die and the EBU is just not doing anything also they signed another deal with Morocco no sponsoring and Morocco is a Israel company so that starts to explain a little bit and I don't get how Khan can get away with so many so much stuff they did I don't see how they get away with all of that some of their journalists how they behaved in the in this in the press center how the the entire delegation behaved in Malmö and the broadcaster and what the government is doing I, and the EBU just sitting there so the title video is should Israel be allowed to take part in the Eurovision Song Contest 2025 and I'm my answer is just no now I know some of you won't agree with me and uh, I invite those who agree and don't agree to uh, just speak in the comments. I want to know your points. I want to know your opinions. I want to have a conversation. I don't want to have like like these conversations where are just full of insults and stuff. With I don't want that. I just want a conversation with you people to see if we can all agree that what the EBU is doing right now is just unacceptable. And if if they allow Israel to participate again this year, they will allow them, but maybe there will be an event that will force them to disqualify them. So let's say if Israel is in Basel, like the delegation and stuff, there will be a huge storm again, huge drama and stuff. And I, I don't think the EBU wants that. Like the Eurovision is not doing very well currently. The Eurovision is sick. And... We need to heal it, and we need to heal the EBU. But I don't see how we can do that without changing, like, the... Just taking decisions. They should just start taking decisions. They used to be Martin Oestrich fucker who's getting this fancy title and stuff like this shows us that VBU will not do any changes and that's sad because it just kills the fucking contest so far I mean if we keep on going like that like maybe in a few years you really won't be there and you might say I'm overreacting I might be but I also might not be overreacting so I just, I just want to know your people's opinion about it. I personally don't think Israel should be allowed. I stated my points. There's the genocide in Palestine, what's happening in Gaza, Rafah, and everything. There's how the delegation acted last year, vision that was fucking unacceptable, and Khan and everything, the way they push their politi political agenda via Eurovision. I know this has been done before by other nations. But never to to that never to that point never that extreme so i don't think any country who's involved in a war like this should be allowed to participate because also you see how it that it got to the televote because 
of because they wanted to show support for Israel, for the Israel, I, I don't know, government or anything. I really don't know if it were, if it was maybe because Eden was getting booed and all that. Everyone just went and voted for it. You saw how it happened, and that just influences the contest a lot and makes it not being a song contest anymore. I know that it never hundred percent was a song contest, but it was mostly a song contest and. It's starting to really not be only a song contest, so there's that. And um, well, I uh, hope you like this video. I think I think I'm gonna um, yeah, and and it's right here. Uh, if you did, please put a little like, subscribe. Please just let me know in the comments what what you think. Should this will be allowed to participate or not? As I told you, I don't think they should be allowed to participate. I think. it's unacceptable but just tell me i want to have to i want to have a conversation have a great day bye bye